I'm Dr. John Reeder. I work at SSC Pacific in San Diego. I work on applications of machine learning to the Navy problems, anything from autonomy to uh, radio frequency, electronic warfare. So pretty much anywhere I can find that machine learning will help. That's what I'm trying to work on. Machine learning is a field of uh, computer science that deals with algorithms that improve over time. So the more they're used, the more data you give them, the better the models they create become. So in, in turn, instead of having to design the model by hand, having somebody try to figure out exactly which variables to use, machine learning looks at the data and through experimentation finds the, the model that fits the problem. Towards the end of my undergraduate career, I got involved with my professor who ended up being my graduate um, advisor and I did some early machine learning research as an undergraduate. And so from that point on, I was doing machine learning research um, for my honors thesis in undergrad and through master's and PhD. And I basically kind of made the decision that if, if I couldn't find new funding at, at the end of my master's, then I was just going to quit there and go off and get a job. So I went through and was searching for a lot of uh, graduate fellowships. So I looked at the NSF fellowship, uh, NSDEG, which is another DUD fellowship, and SMART were the, the ones that I kind of focused on. So you go to the SMART website, the application's online, you fill it out. Um, for grad school, you have to go through and you fill out, you know, regular information, what classes you've taken, transcripts. Um, a big part of, though, with grad school and up is you have to give a research statement, like what it is you're interested in researching, what are your interests, um, what do you want to work on. And so that's the, the big part of the research statement that is ended up, what ended up matching me with, with Spay War. Round one is generally just grades, GPA, that type of thing and then they make a cut. And then from there, they send everyone who's passed that cut on to the different DoD labs. And so your research statement is what's important there because now that I'm here and I'm looking at SMART scholars who are applying, I'm looking at their research statement to see if what they're interested in lines up with what I'm interested in here as well. So I actually mentor a SMART scholar now from Georgia Tech. Um, and so that's how it sort of worked out. They implied we get these applications here and the thing we focus on is who has research um, interests that align with the type of research that we want to do. And so for me, that was uh, my mentor here at Spay War called and interviewed and we talked and they said they wanted me, I said I wanted to come to San Diego and then you know, the rest is history. The thing I like most is the, the freedom that I have here. So the field of machine learning right now is a very hot area. So there's a lot of industry, there's a lot of academia, and then DoD is also very interested. The thing that we have here that we might not have at academia or in industry, I have a lot of freedom in what I work on. So the only thing that really limits what I can work on here is if I have the ability to convince the people in charge that it's a worthwhile idea and that it's something that we should be looking into.